Hi, I'm Celia. And I'm Chelsea. And uh, we are occupational therapists here at TOPS and we are excited to talk to you today about going back to school and tips for getting your kids to go, getting your kids ready to go back to school. So one of the first uh, things that we want to talk to you about is about getting ready to go to sleep and getting your sleep schedule readjusted. So that's one of the biggest transitions for going to, from summer back to school. And so we recommend starting around now and actually um, starting as early as you can to get that sleep schedule readjusted. So starting right now, it's going to bed a little bit earlier and waking up a little bit earlier so you can transition back to that school time so that you get in that pattern of getting going to bed at the same time and getting up at the same time. Another thing that we recommend at this point is starting to practice your morning routine. We know in the summertime, it's really nice because you have a more flexible schedule and a lot of times mornings might be a little bit more relaxed and slowed down a little bit. Um, but we want our kids to have enough time to adjust and get ready for the rush of getting out the door for school. So now is a great time for you guys to practice developing and putting together a morning routine that works for your family. Um, and you might find that it's helpful to use visual schedules or maybe even a timer to kind of help give kids a better sense of time and how much time they have while they're getting ready. Um, but just having them practice getting up in the morning, brushing their teeth, getting themselves dressed and going through the same routine that you would go through on a regular school day morning. And along with that, um, practicing some of the other um, pieces that are different about going to school. So one thing, um, you know, if your child wears a uniform, practicing putting on that uniform, wearing it, getting used to kind of the way that feels. And also if you have new, new school clothes uh, for the fall, trying on those, um, seeing how they feel, getting used to playing and being in those um, before that first day of school to kind of help ease into that different um, sensation or different uh, feeling of, of clothing. Um, and along with those lines, you can also practice things um, and getting familiar just with the idea of going to school and maybe driving by the school, talking about the school, talking about what you might expect in that that routine and, and what that's going to look like and doing some of that practice and prep ahead of time. Another big part about going back to school is getting back on the school bus. So your kids might already be familiar with the school bus but they haven't been on it for a few months or your kids might be brand new to the school bus. Um, so one thing that you can do is start talking about the school bus um, watching some maybe videos on YouTube to learn more about the bus, talking about it, maybe reading um, children's books or creating social stories about the school bus to help your kids understand what's expected of them when they get on the bus. And then you can always practice through play. Um, so you can role play it and practice um, setting up a pretend bus in your house and practice what it's like to get on the bus and sit and, and what that might look like on the bus ride. Um, another piece to think about are what regulating tools um, can you have your, for your child or can you incorporate during your day to help the school day go a little bit easier. So um, one big thing we talk about a lot is um, incorporating that heavy work. So when you're practicing your morning routine or thinking about that, how are you getting some heavy work activities in, whether it's you know carrying or lifting heavy things, pushing them down the hallway, doing some animal walks in your transitions. Um, also having a water bottle available uh, for your kiddo when they do go to school. School. Having a, a water bottle where you have to do some sucking through the top, um, like with a straw or with a spout, um, is a great way to um, facilitate that regulation. So if your school allows your child to have a water bottle, pack one um, that's got a straw or a spout on it. Um, and then also having things like a fidget on the backpack to have while they're maybe on the bus, something that they can use um, to kind of keep their body calm um, and regulated um, during those transition times. And now is also a great time for you to start thinking about reaching out to your child's team at school. Um, this is the time of year where a lot of staff and teachers are heading back to school um, and getting ready for the school year. So if you have concerns about your child, now is a great time to reach out to their team at school, whether it's the principal, social worker, or their teacher. Um, you can send them an email and start just touching base so that you guys can be on the same page um, and you're not starting the school year off um, uh, and then having to problem solve after the fact, but kind of coming out on, to on top of it. Um, and then if your child has an IEP or a 504 plan, it's also a great time to reach out to their team um, to make sure that everything is set for the school year and get that communication rolling. And the other thing that we would definitely recommend is making sure that you find time to make it to your child's open house at their school or any other opportunities that they might have um, in 
the summer leading up to school to get over to the school and meet the staff and let the kids start getting familiar, familiar with their faces and their names in the building. And then the last point that we have, um, we just want to provide a reminder that, you know, going back to school is a big transition time and to give yourself that, um, your, you and that, your child time to kind of make that adjustment and to understand that, you know, you might see um, more increases in anxiety, possibly it may show up as more behaviors um, or difficulty following directions. And that's, that's normal. Um, that big adjustment, big emotional adjustment um, can come with some of those changes in behaviors. Um, and so using some of these tools to prep yourself ahead of time, using some of those regulating tools can help hopefully make that transition a little bit easier.